MDMA is an insight drug and you get um, an experience of self-validation uh, which is tremendously healing. MDMA showed me my potential, what I could feel, who I could be, the way that I could relate to other people and the way that I could feel about them and about myself. It was amazing. It was like I got to do actually like almost brain surgery on myself and find, look, go into my mind and see the thought patterns and the belief systems that I had kind of calcified in there and rewire them to the highest truth, to what really is true. Scientists are still figuring out how MDMA works, but we do know that a key aspect is that it causes several neurotransmitters to be released in the brain, including serotonin. MDMA facilitates, enhances activity in the frontal cortex where we put things in context. It was during my deployment that I started developing signs that later I knew were PTSD. At the time, I didn't really understand what was going on. For me, PTSD was like being in prison, but from the inside out. And I started feeling numb and detached from myself. My sleep became very disturbed. I was having nightmares every night. I viewed myself almost as a monster. There was a lot of things that we did in Iraq that are hard to live with. What we've learned is that MDMA reduces activity in the amygdala where fear-based emotions are processed. I was really desperate. I was at the end of my road. I didn't know what else to do, where else to turn. I was so torn up inside that I, I didn't see a rationality of living anymore. We were dealing with a year and a half worth of cancer that we just never spoke about. It was just a very surreal, scary failing to have panic attacks. I just decided I'm just gonna fix myself. And I kept getting worse. How does MDMA produce empathy? You know, how can that be produced by a drug, by chemicals? And what we have to realize is that everything we experience is produced by chemicals in our brain. Our brain is a drug factory. Annie and Michael Mithofer are superb therapists. They're highly trained and very disciplined people. I took the MDMA early in the morning on the first session. Then I just started thinking about things. It was uh, it's like a floodgate of thoughts just opened and all of a sudden I was processing things and thinking about things in perspectives that I hadn't considered before. The MDMA broke down the barriers, so for the very first time we were able to talk about the cancer and it became a continual talk until the day that he died. We didn't shy away from it. For people that are experiencing real hurt and trauma, it allows you to feel that love again. I felt nothing but compassion for myself, despite all the things that I'd been through, all the hard circumstances that I had seen. Readdress the trauma from the place of my very best, highest self. And then I got to take that person and help the most sick person that I was. Now with MDMA, you have somebody who's relaxed and willing to talk, but they're completely awake, they're totally alert, their memory is sharp. It was actually like I was very, very clear and was able to process memories. And also their memory for past events is sharp. They can talk about something that happened 10 or 20 years ago accurately, and they will have complete memory for the therapy session. So that's very important. Like I said, 15 years later still makes me cry, I always will. <laughs> What does that mean? They said, you don't have PTSD anymore. I'm telling you because I've had three friends who I served with in the military who did carry out that plan and did kill themselves. And I don't want to see it happen anymore. I meet people all the time who are suffering the way I did, and they can't get this treatment. About a year after I'd been out of the study, I've got a friend who lives close to me, a really good friend, he's a Marine, a combat Marine, and he killed himself. And uh, right before he killed himself, he was asking me about that study. I mean, he was, he was really interested in it. 
And I felt like if he had had a chance to go through that and uh, experience what I had experienced, maybe reach a place where he had compassion for himself, like I was able to get compassion for myself, things would have turned out differently for him. So, you know, I, I'm doing it because maybe it'll, um, maybe it'll help somebody one day. Just know that there is a better alternative out there than what veterans are currently being offered. Death hurts. It really, really does, but it doesn't have to destroy families. And that is why I advocate. I don't want people to hurt any more than they have to. With the MDMA, I actually went into my head and was able to reprogram, like a computer, the, the story that I told myself about what that traumatic event meant, why it happened, and learn the real truth, which was some really horrible things happened, and they mean it, nothing about me as a human being. It freed me. The prison I was in, I got out. For me, I know without a doubt um, that MDMA saved my life. I just don't understand why we can't have a rational conversation about bringing other alternative medicines in as viable solutions to this. I mean, my God, people are dying. 23 veterans a day are dying in this country of suicide. And what are we gonna do about it? When people go to raves and they dance in a large group and they experience a group mind and they experience that kind of connection with other people and you're very open and you look at someone and you're smiling and they're smiling and you feel love for them and they feel love for you and you're strangers, that's therapeutic. The, the experience called heart expansion happens. Everybody is your friend. You love everybody, including yourself. Love is often an illusory concept for a lot of people. Um, we're often taught what to think love is and what it isn't. And especially in the MDMA community, people are really confronted with the necessity to be able to see what is illusory and what's not when it comes to emotions and love. I wanted to make people happy. And we just decided to go out with signs that said free hugs and with a, a cooler full of popsicles. That way if people didn't want hugs, we could give them popsicles. He doesn't. Uh, dream in Technicolor, and I do. Ultimately, I think that love comes from inside us, and that's what MDMA teaches us. That's all I can say about it. Okay? Sounds good. Yeah, just to me too. <laughs>